so welcome to Yoga and Richmond today. Um, and you may have noticed there's quite a lot of ocean themed things around me. I have a nice sea blanket here, some whale shark leggings, um, my beach, there are some waves washing, I can hear them. So um, I've decided to theme today's yoga class around um, the ocean. It was actually World Ocean Day on Saturday. Oh no, World Whale Day. Um, that's what inspired me to do it. So, um, lots of slightly dodgy links to the ocean, but uh, we're going to start seated um, as usual. If you did want to sit up on a tip cushion or a block or something to make yourself feel comfortable, um, or kneel if that you prefer, and we're just going to start with um, some breathing and, as usual, um, a bit of closing the eyes and focusing on how you feel. So if you want to just gaze at the floor or close your eyes and rest your arms on your legs somewhere comfortable, sit up nice and tall and take some nice deep breaths in and out. So focus on how you feel. If you want to imagine those breaths like a wave coming in and washing away any stress, any tension. Uh, we are going to do a type of breathing called Ujjayi or ocean breathing. So I'd like you to take a breath in with me and then breathe out, out through your mouth as if you're fogging a mirror. So breathe in through your nose and audibly out through your mouth. Next time, in through your nose, but close your mouth and still try to make that sound. It should be from constricting your throat. So there's still a sound. As you breathe out. And it will actually slow down your breath. Um, you can make the sound on the way in with this constriction as well um, and it is a good way to just focus on your breath whilst you're uh, relaxing or meditating in yoga and, and have that sound of the ocean to focus your ears whilst you relax. So if that works for you, ocean breath or ujjayi breath, you could keep doing practice. Okay, open your eyes. So next we're going to warm up the neck. Um, all I'd like you to do is look up and imagine a blue sky. So just tilt the head back, stretch the front of the neck. Um, you might just want to look slightly over to one side, quite slow movements, um, and then the other. So just gently finding any knots or tightness in the neck. And then come all the way down to look at the sand. Tenuous link. So um, yeah, chin towards the chest. Just tilting from one side to the other. Finding any areas that might need a bit more of a stretch. Maybe lingering on one side more than the other. And then coming up to look at the sea um, and following the horizon all the way round, stretching one side of your neck um, and following the horizon. I don't know, maybe you're on a boat, you can see if I'm yeah, further round the horizon in all directions. There will be boat pose in this practice. So just stretching into the neck any which way you like and then you can do your own sort of combination of sand, sea, sky, <laughs> whatever you feel like to warm up the neck. It should feel really warm and again an area where you help lots of tension. Okay next we've got to lie on the beach so um, fingertips to your ears. Imagine you're lying on the sand. You're going to breathe in, the elbows are going to go back, you're going to look up and then breathe out, elbows together, chin to chest. It's kind of tenuous, I know. So lying on the beach, sunbathing, and then kind of stretching, curling up afterwards, exhale. Inhale to stretch, open, exhale. 
and moving into the shoulders and upper back. One last one. Exhale. And then relax the arms down by your sides. Um, we're going to do a bit of a flow with the arm side stretch. I, I don't know why I'm calling this mermaid. Uh, breathe in, right arm goes up. Breathe out, slide the left hand away as you stretch over to the left. We're going to stay in here. Imagine you've got some gills and you're opening them on your sides, maybe looking up. Keep breathing out through that gills on the right lung. Weird, I know, sorry, but it does help. And then as you breathe out, right hand comes down towards the left, forward, and then we go to the other side. Inhale, left arm up. Imagine these girls, relax over to the right. Breathe in once more to the left lung. And then sweep the left arm round and down, trace the arms on the floor in front of you up over to the right. So we're just going to flow here. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, flow round. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale, flow round. So this is kind of like, I don't know, waves. Once more each side. Exhale, forward. And then inhale. And then exhale. This time just stay in the front. Okay, so your chest is going down towards your legs and we're stretching the lower back. You bring the hands out on the floor in front of you if you'd like. Inhale, maybe with the ocean breath. Exhale, maybe lower a little bit further forward. So suck in the abdomen as you breathe out and you should get to lower a little further. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower further maybe. Stretching into the hips as well. And then inhale, sitting up gradually and fairly. Brilliant. Hopefully warmed up the top of the body. We're next going to warm up the legs as well as a bit more into the arms. So come up to tabletop position. Sit up. Good alignment with your wrists under your uh, shoulders, your knees, under your hips. And we are going to do cat and cow pose. This is good with the spine, but I'd like you to imagine a wave like a ripple going up your spine. So flat ish back to start. And then inhale, that wave comes up from your lower back, middle back, upper back, neck. Exhale, neck goes down, upper back, lower back, tailbone taps over. Inhale, rippling up. Lower back, middle, upper, neck. Exhale, neck comes down. Upper back ripples. So keep doing twice more. Bring in ocean breath if you'd like. Really exaggerate that wave. Once you finish two, come back to the middle, flatter back. I'm going to tuck toes under and sit back on your toes a little bit. Stretch out the hands, look at your hands, make some starfish. Okay, really press into your fingertips. This is a stretch for your toes, so you should be feeling a yeah, foot stretch. And then come forward and bring your shoulders over your wrists okay so this will be a stretch for your forearms and you could do some small circles here if you'd like just to stretch the forearms and then we're going to sit back to toes again really put the weight into the toes and you might want to move your arms a little bit further forward to stretch your chest towards the floor a little bit more and then we're going to come forwards with and back with the breath next. So breathe out. Inhale to come forward, that wave. The hips might lower towards the floor. And then exhale, hips go back to heels, press into the hands, lower the chest. 
inhale come forward and through stretching the arms and the legs a bit exhaling hips go back to heels chest towards the floor inhale once more really stretch this is called up dog exhaling a variation of down dog with the knees on the floor and then we are going to stand up bring the hips up towards the sky straighten the legs and then alternately bend and flex your knees so this is yeah full down dog keep the starfish press into the fingertips it's a strong inversion so it is supposed to be a relaxing pose once you eventually get to it but when you first practice yoga this feels quite strange relax your head just shake your head yes and no make sure there's no tension heels can be lifted knees can be bent we're aiming for a straight flat back keep pressing into the hands and the blood is flowing in a different direction to normal so it's really beneficial heart above our head okay we next want to put the left sides of our feet onto the floor okay so you're just going to bring your heels over to the left and then look under your right arm and it stretches the side of your body in a weird way keep pressing into the arms keep breathing and then come up to the middle with your heels and then heels go over to the right and you look under your left arm keep breathing keep pressing into the arms and then come back to the middle and then we're going to walk the hands slow sorry walk the feet up towards your hands okay so you can imagine you're putting your toes in the sand maybe crossing one leg in front of the other in front of the other and coming up to forward fold at the front of the mat so once you get to the front heels are under your knees under your hips just line everything up i'm calling this um dangle in the rock pools i don't know rock pulling um just gently move side to side with your breathing trying to relax your shoulders soft bend in the knees especially if you're doing this practice in the morning stretching at the back of the legs and relaxing the arms and dangling them in the rug pulls okay maybe focus back on that ocean breath just for a moment all the gills opening at the sides And then because we've had our head down for quite a long time, we're going to come up very slowly. So that wave of the spine, press into the feet, bend the knees, and slowly come up. Take as many breaths as you like. Um, be careful not to get a head rush. So the shoulders and the head should come up last of all. Um, once you do get to the top, just maybe roll the shoulders back. Check out the arms, check out the legs, check how you feel. Okay, next we're going to do some surfing. Okay, so um, I want you to step back a quite a wide stance with your right foot. The right toes are going to point towards like 10 o'clock and just check that you can surf <laughs> with your left knee. Um, the hips should be facing forward so you're not going to fall off your surfboard and um, yeah just again when we do we're going to be doing some arm moves and bending um, so you need to make sure you've got a good stance first so breathe out to prepare breathe in sweep the arms up biceps by the ears breathe out bend the left knee bring the arms down parallel to the floor and bring the fists in. Breathe in, feel
this, go out to the sides, stretch into the chest, the shoulders. Breathe out, palms come down, and we surf with the left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, bring the arms back to the sides. Exhale, arms go back as you bring your chest forward, surfing forwards. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, up, back to the high surf position. Exhale, arms come down, knee straightens, relax. There's quite a lot of movement going on there and it's supposed to be quite flowy. The fist grab, you're trying to kind of bring something in and then keep those fists facing up as you go out and you'll stretch the inside of your arms and then down as well. Okay, we'll do once more this side. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, bend the knee, arms come halfway down, fist grab something, bring it in. Inhale, arms, fist go out to the side, open the chest. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, gaze over your right hand, surf. Inhale, arms come back either side of you, facing front. Exhale, arms go back, leaning forward on your surfboard, straight back if you can. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, lower. We're going to do inhaling, coming up with the arms again, exhaling lower, halfway, bring the fists in, inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides, open the chest, exhale, palms go down, and we're just going to stay here, and what I'd like you to do is just walk your right foot back a little bit, so that we're now lined up and slightly more on this on a one kind of plane and we're in warrior two position uh, we're just going to hold this and breathe so your left thigh should be or aiming towards being parallel to the floor so your stance will change your shoulders are over your hips facing this side now and then the arms come up from there i think the little fingers pressed back and then you gaze over the left fingertips. So it's a classic yoga pose. I'm calling it surfer. And to hold it, you're using every muscle in every limb. Press into the feet, lift the chest, focus the gaze, keep breathing. Use the ocean breath. And then inhale, straighten the left knee. Exhale, turn your toes to face the right. Bring the arms down. And we're going to turn and do the surfing moves on this side. So step the left foot back. Get your hips on your surf uh, facing front. This way on your surfboard now. So that you're not going to wobble off. Adjust your feet, the left foot, toes pointing at 10 o'clock. Breathe out to prepare. Inhale, sweep the arms up, biceps by the ears. Exhale, stretch forward as you bend your right knee. Palms come in as you're grabbing something. Inhale, palms go out to the sides. Open the chest. Exhale, palms down, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, come forward to the front again. Exhale, arms go back, chest comes forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And then exhale, straighten the knee, bring the arms down. And then again, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, bending the knee, arms come down, palms grab, bring something in, strong move. Inhale, palms out to the side, open the chest, maybe look up. Exhale, right arm forward, palm down, left arm back. Inhale to the middle, keep that right knee bent. Exhale, sweep the arms back, chest comes forward. 
Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, arms come down, straighten the right knee. Once more, inhale up. Exhale, arms down, bending the knee at the same time. Bring the fists in. Inhale, arms come out, fists clench. Exhale, palms face down, surfing. And then we're going to stay in warrior two on this side. So adjust your stance so that the legs are on the same plane. The hips are facing forwards again. Shoulders are over hips. We're not reaching too far forward or too far back. We're opening the chest, bending into that right knee. Good surfing pose. I, I don't actually surf, so I have no idea. <laughs> no, this is not a good surfing pose. Keep breathing, relax the shoulders, gaze over the right fingertips, think strong in the legs. You should be breathing quite heavily just from holding the arms and legs in this pose and definitely your right hips and thigh may be feeling it because we've been a lot on this side for very long. Keep the arms up, fingertips back, breathe. And arms come down as you exhale, straighten the right leg and face the toes forward and just check, yeah, feet are facing the, um, this way. Bring the heels in slightly. So um, yeah, we've got a wide stance. We're just gonna do a slightly different variation on it's five-pointed star, but I'm calling this starfish as well. Starfish and sea urchin. Are you ready? So just check when you bend your knees, they go out over your toes. And your aim is to use the thighs to keep the knees out. You have been quite strong on the legs for quite a while. Shoulders over hips. Always kind of like leaning back in this pose. Breathe out. And then breathe in. Sweep the arms up to starfish. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the palms together at the heart. I don't know why I'm calling this sea urchin. Spiky hands, I guess. Inhaling, starfish. Exhaling, sea urchin. Inhaling, starfish. Exhale, sea urchin. One last time, inhale, starfish. Really stretch through the hands. Exhale, bring the breath in. Sit down, starfish. We're going to stay in starfish. Inhale, lift the right heel. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the left heel. Exhale to lower. And then if you feel brave, inhale, but lift both heels. Stronger the legs, lower as you breathe out. Sweep the arms all the way up, back to starfish, straighten the legs. And then bring the palms to the heart and fold forward. So we are going to look in a rock pool again. Um, your heels are going to come behind your toes. So make sure your feet are parallel and you're going to keep a flat back. So you use your palms on your chest to think about your posture. This is stretching the backs of your legs. You can keep the knees bent if you've got tight hamstrings. You're trying to imagine quite a flat back so you could balance a milkshake on the back of your neck. I don't know why I said milkshake in that way, but I, I don't know. I was thinking about the drink you have on the beach, but it's, a bit, it's not an ice cream, is it? Okay. And then relax your chest down towards the floor. Let go of the arms um, and just relax in this wide-legged forward fold. So bring your hands wherever you'd like to your legs, anywhere, ankle, feet, or just dangling on the floor. Breathing again into the lower back. And maybe breathing out. Really enjoy the ocean breath, lowering a little bit further as you breathe out. your hands. 
and it's into the floor. Um, and we are going to, yeah, sorry, we are going to come all the way back up and go back the way we came. So hands to hips, flat back again, strong legs, and then inhale, press into the feet to bring your chest slowly back up, your body back up to vertical. If you'd like to either step your feet together or heel, toe, heel, toe, make some nice patterns in the sand. I'm going to start with the same things and then we're going to step forwards to the front of the mat. Heels under knees, under hips, relax the arms, inhale, bring the arms all the way up. Palms together, exhale, come through the heart with the palms all the way down to forward fold. Inhale, palms come up the front of the legs, halfway left, flat flat. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, plant the palms, step back to plank. Ah, uh, okay, I'm calling this pier. You're imagining that you're really straight pier. So heels spiking towards the back of the mat, crown spiking towards the front of the mat, pressing into your selfish hands, trying to keep balanced and strong. Optional extra if you want to lift your right heel and lower, lift your left heel and lower. Try not to change anything else anywhere in, really dome through the shoulders, suck in through the tummy and then lower knees and bring your chest to the floor. Okay, I'm going to move back slightly because we're going to do some um, fish related poses. So you're going to need to bring your arms in front of you with some space. Um, so this pose is, geez, I'm calling it lobster pose. So can you bring your forearms to the mat and like karate chop your hands if the side of your hands are on the floor? And you can make lobster pincers if you... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, your forehead is on the floor and your tops of the feet really flat to the floor. And same with your legs and your hips. You're sort of pressing into the, the lower part of your body. And we're going to breathe it in to lift the top part of our body. So this could be very small. Breathe out to prepare then, breathe in, press into the tummy, lift the shoulders, try to keep the neck flat. Exhale, lower. Once more, inhaling to lift. This might just be a really small move using your lower back muscles to support you. One last time, inhale to lift, exhale to lower, and then slide the palms back under your shoulders. I forgot to say actually, this is really strong, if you've got a lower back problem, then you should be doing it with your hands under your palms, sorry, your palms under your shoulders. Hopefully you haven't got a lower back problem. Let's give it a quick rub, uh, wiggle the hips side to side. Um, and we're then going to do a pose called whale. It's normally called um, bow or locust. So I'm going to bring my hands um, to my lower back. So this is option one. We're going to do the same lift, but the palms are kind of flat on the back of my body to lift up and to lower. Lifting up, just the shoulders come up, and lower. Once more, lifting up, strong, point through the toes, exhale, lower. And have a break with the arms. Maybe put the other cheek on the floor, and wiggle the hips again. And if you are up for it, you've got strong back, it's really good to strengthen these lower back muscles actually. The next level up is full whale, so you're going to bend your knees, so your feet are coming up towards the sky. 
and you can grab the back of trousers, heel, foot, toe, hopefully something. Um, and we're going to repeat that move. If you want to repeat one of the earlier moves instead, that's absolutely fine. So we're set up with our feet in contact with our arms somehow and legs. Breathe out to prepare. Breathe in, press into the feet, lift the chest, lift the shoulders. And then exhale, lower. Twice more, inhaling. Kicking into the hands to help you lift. Exhale to lower. Inhaling, last time. Exhale, lower. And carefully release the legs, release the hands. Press into the hands to come up through tabletop and to sit back on your heels. So we need to do, after we flex our spine backwards, we need to just curve our spine gently the other way. So you can bring your knees wider or closer together, whichever you prefer. You can bring your fists as a pillow for your head or your hands. Um, we're just going to um, rest here in what's normally called child's pose, but I'm just calling it pebble today. Imagine you're a little pebble. Breathing into those muscles in the lower back that we just stretch quite deeply. And an optional extra. Bring your palms together in front of your head. Um, and then bring that shock fin to the back of your neck. So your elbows can walk forward a little bit. You've got a, a shoulder stretch here in this pose, which is kind of a shark pebble or something, I don't know. So maybe come back to the ocean breath. to relax the arms instead of holding the sharp fin, helping you relax it. It's supposed to be a restorative pose as well. Okay, slowly, carefully bring your hands, use them to help you come back up to kneeling. And somehow we're going to get to seated. So you can cross your ankles behind you and sit. And just somehow twist yourself around to sit up vertically on your mat with your legs out in front of you. Soles of the feet on the beach. Okay, we're going to do a pose called boat. Um, the last few poses, so um, bow pose is quite strong on your core um, and there are lots of different versions of boats, obviously there's lots of different types of boats, so um, you can choose which one you do and we'll kind of come in and out of boats and you can choose which one you like. So the first option boat is to hold the back of the um, thighs, keep the chest nice and lifted and then bring your shins parallel to the floor. So you'll lean back slightly as you do that. You can keep the feet flexed, if that helps, or toes pointed. You're using your core to keep you in this position. And you are breathing. So that's option one. That's still a nice boat shape. Option two is you bring the hands out the starfish either side to make more of a boat shape. So keep the breath coming in and out, keep the gaze up, shoulders lifted, You're working the front of your thighs, your abdomen, your lower back, all of those areas. On an exhale, 
Both the feet. Give yourself a bit of a cuddle. It's quite nice as a break. If that's boat one and two, it's going to get harder. Come back to whichever boat you'd like. Option three boat is you straighten your legs. Okay. You're still trying to keep everything lifted, but you've got one leg straight. Or you could do one at a time. Just try one leg and then the other leg. Keep the chest lifted, keep the tummy tight, and then come back. Option three boat, you're gonna hold a beach ball. Okay, are you ready? So if you do just, you can just opt out of this, go back to being a pebble. If you're feeling strong, you're gonna come up to boat two or one. And then we're going to straighten the left leg and bring a beach ball over to the right. Inhale, take the beach ball up over your legs. Exhale, straighten the right leg, bring the beach ball over to the left. Inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, lower the legs, give yourself a cuddle. Um, we're doing kind of okay. It is the hardest boat coming up next, so if you really want some more, or you could just like say the option. This is going high boat to low boat. So take some deep breaths. Inhale, bring the feet up. Exhale, try to stay here. And inhale, lower the shoulders and the ankles to the floor. Exhale, come back up to normal boat. So high boat, inhale, exhale, low boat, sorry, inhale, uh, exhale is high boat, sorry, wrong way around. Inhale to low boat, exhale to high boat, inhale to low boat, exhale to high boat, inhale to low boat, exhale to relax. <laughs> so that's hopefully built up some energy, some fire, in the body, it's good for us to yeah, use our body in challenging ways. And don't worry, whichever boat you got to, and even if you went to low boat and then, like, yeah, shipwrecked boat, I, it's fine. Okay, uh, we're going to do one last line pose before we relax. Um, this one's called Fish, it's one of my favourites. So you're just going to bring palms flat to the mat by your hips, and then sit on the back of your hands, okay? So you put your hands underneath you. You're gonna bring your shoulder blades in, and as you do that, you're gonna lift up so the back of your head uh, comes towards the floor and you can look behind you. You might find that this is enough, or you might find you can press up higher so that your elbows are on the mat underneath you. Your toes point away from you and your chest is lifted and maybe the crown of your head is on the floor as you look back. So this is called fish pose, Matsyandrasana. There's a nice chest opening, you can breathe deeply in this pose. Maybe using that ocean breath. Fill in the chest. Exhale to relax. And once more, big inhale. And then on an exhale, lower the upper body back to the earth, to the beach. Bring your soles of the feet to the floor, knees up and um, that release your hands from under you. You might want to wriggle your fingers. So it does compress them. Soles of the feet neck lastly come behind your um, hips. Palms face down by your sides. And we're just going to do bridge pose um, as a counter pose for fish. So, Inhale, press into the feet to lift the hips up. 
and we're just going to hold bridge so your lower body should feel quite relaxed your knees aiming forwards lifting the hips pressing into the feet and then trying to have no pressure anywhere else your shoulders just supporting your weight no tension in your jaw your face breathing fully into the abdomen in this pose and then on your next exhale you're going to slowly place each vertebra that wave down the spine as you come back down to the floor with your torso and then stretch the legs out long palms come face up and arms come slightly away from you um, the last relaxation part of yoga if you have a blanket or a rug or a duvet it's really nice to get under it and I think yep yeah, just for my ocean theme I'm under my mat really nice so get comfortable we're just going to spend a couple of minutes in a, in a relaxing visualization so your feet might be a little wider apart with the toes possibly splaying out to the sides if that feels comfortable and your palms face up so both legs and arms really heavy into the beach beneath you so if you'd like to imagine warm sand underneath you and you'll come back to some ocean breath so just one inhale and a loud exhale if you'd like inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth And then your choice if you want to do ocean breathing with the mouth closed or just let your breath completely relax don't try and force it in or out just let it go completely naturally I want you to imagine that the sea the shoreline is just by your feet so the waves warm sea not the British sea definitely um, warm water as you breathe in, is washing in nice fresh water, and then as you breathe out, the waves receding away. So your breath is moving with some waves. And the inhale brings in this sense of and your exhale with the wave receding takes away any stress or tension from your body full deep breaths filling up with nice fresh oxygen fresh water and then exhale getting rid of anything you don't need carbon dioxide stress or worries take this visualization as far as you like um, by imagining the sun on you, the warm sand, maybe a gentle breeze, it's a powerful mind, our imagination can take us to different places relax so 
If this works for you, you can pause the video and stay in this position, relaxing. You can even find on YouTube lots of the beach sounds that I've got here. It's just yeah, YouTube video for beach. So if you're enjoying that, pause the video, stay in it. Uh, if not, we will take a deeper breath in. Fill the lungs all the way up and then exhale. Just wriggle toes and fingers. Inhale again, nice deep breath, filling in more energy. Exhale, bend the knees and maybe the elbows as you exhale and then just turn gently onto your side lying on your side on the beach and slowly carefully press your arms into the floor to bring yourself back up to seated so I hope that wasn't too sleepy at the end. Again, if you practice different times of the day, um, that might be a good thing to do before you go to sleep. Um, maybe not so much before, yeah, college or work or whatever you've got to do in the daytime. Um, sit up nice and tall. I hope you enjoyed that practice. So that physical tension, that mental kind of release, it, it is, you can take yourself back to that beach anytime. It's, uh, yeah, really beneficial for us to just give yourself some time to chill. So. Hope you enjoyed that today. Thank you for practicing. Be mindful how you think, speak, feel, and 